everybody. Welcome to Mary's Craft Room and Sundays at 7. Tonight we're going to make this adorable little um, Halloween card. But first of all, I hope everybody had a great weekend. The weather was phenomenal. I had off for four days. It was great. Had a wonderful rummage sale. Um, got rid of a lot of old stamps to help new help crafters with their creativity and just met a lot of nice people and just so blessed to have this wonderful four days off. And in that time, I got to do a lot of crafting too. And so I tonight I want to show you um, this cute card that I did using, we're going to use um, lots of items from the mini catalog. I'm going to grab the catalog. And we are, if you have your mini catalog, I am taking things from page number 51, um, 51 and 52. So we're going to use the stars, the cute stars, adhesive backed sequins. We're going to use the cute paper uh, down here, the ha cute Halloween 6x6 designer series paper. And then on the next page on 52, we are using um, the stamp set Frightfully Cute. Um, one of the other nights when I made, one of the other weeks when I made the treat bag, we used the dies from Frightfully Cute Bundle. So tonight we're going to use um, the stamp set and uh, we'll go from there, okay? So I got this layout from a class I was in last week with um, Robin Carden and one of the challenges we had during the day was to use this layout that she gave us. And on this particular one, I don't know how they were chosen, but I won this challenge and I won a free stamp set and dies from her. So this is gonna be one of my go-to cards for right now. So I had done it in the green, which I loved for Halloween, but in the paper, they also had the black and purple. So I wanted to show you how cute it was in another color too. And then I just put a little happy Halloween and a spider hanging down and a spider on the envelope. Okay, so here's the paper, and there's so many options in there that you could use. Almost everything in there that would make a cute one too is would be just perfect for the cards. So this is awesome. And then I also went with uh, the spider emboss, embossing folder. I used that on one, and I used our retired scroll embossing folder on the purple one and that fit perfect with the skulls the cute little skulls in the graveyard and the one we're doing tonight I used the spider web one so that was pretty cute all right so we're gonna put those aside and get started on this very very quick and easy card all right and let's see if I've got anybody there okay all right so We'll start with our basic, I've got basic black for the layout, and it's our normal eight and a half um, by five and a half, and then scored at, oh, uh, scored at four and a quarter. I'm losing my mind here. All right, so we're going to take that, and we're going to bend it this way, and we'll give that, use the bone folder and give it a nice crease, and... I think there's something going on here. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I hope I hope people can see me, but it doesn't look like it's working on my end. We shall see here. All right. Well, I'm going to keep moving forward, and hopefully everything works. So then for the front, I have a white piece that's two and three quarters by five and a quarter. And I'm going to adhere that with my adhesive. I'll put that on there. So tomorrow night, I have a fun project starting. I have my Mary's Craft Room on my front porch. So I have everything set up like I would for a um, craft fair. And people can come and shop there. Oh, let's get this on right here. There we go. And then the designer series paper then is two and a half by five. And we'll just adhere that down there. 
So I'm hoping that I get some visitors to come shop. I've had a few people shop already, and it's been fun. So it's always out, and everybody can see all the goodies that I have. And there we go, and we have that down there. Okay. And then I'm going to put on, I already did, to save some time, I already did the embossing folder on my green paper. And this is one and a quarter by five and a quarter. And we'll just put a little adhesive on there. There we go. And I got to look. I think I want, I've got a nice little spider web down there. I'm going to put that there. And we'll just lay that right down there. And isn't that cute? There we go. So we've got the front almost all done. So next I'm going to take um, my one and a half inch punch. And I'm going to take some scrap black paper. And we're going to punch out three circles. What do we got on there? There we go. One, two, and three. All right, we'll put the rest of that scrap away. So I'll set those aside a second. And then we're going to take our stamps. We've got a cat and a witch and a spider. And I'm going to use um, the black stays on versus... Um, the, the black memento because it's just a little bit darker. So I've got some scrap white here that I goofed up on something else, so I'm going to use that. And we'll see how this works. Just re-inked this, so hopefully it's nice and dark. Oh, not quite right. So we're going to try one more time. I found this to be just a little troublesome getting it right. There's a spot on there. Okay, so we'll try one more time. <laughs> we'll see if we get this. I'm going to look on the back. It's just not quite filling in the way I want it to, but we'll see about this one. Well, I have a little issue, guys. I've got something stuck on my stamp. So we'll wipe that off. See if I got something left over. There's just a little spot on there. I may have gotten it off now. All right, we'll try again. Let's see a fourth time is the charm. That looks like it might be just a little bit better. Let's go over here. Much better, much better. So now I'm going to take the one and a quarter inch punch and I'm going to punch out the circle, my little kitty, who's nice and dark. Love that. Okay. And I can flip this over. And now I'm going to do the witch flying on her broom. All right. That looks like it's nice and dark. Oh yeah, like that. All right, and we'll punch that one out. Oops, I've got the wrong one. There we go. One and a quarter. And she doesn't quite all fit, but I get the most of her in there. All right, and then last but not least, we have the spider. This is one I struggle just a little bit with, too. Sometimes the tiny stamps can be a little tricky for us. That one looks pretty good. And then we're going to just punch that right out in the middle. Alrighty. So now I'm going to take these three circles and I'm going to attach them. Let's get the stamp sets all over here. And I'm going to just attach them. We'll center it on the black. There we are. And now the little witch. And it doesn't matter that I used, um, there's something on the back because it doesn't show anyway. There's always two sides to the paper. 
And we'll get that in the center there, just like that. And now the cat. We'll put her on there. I say her because I have a female cat, so it's automatically a her. All right, so now I'm going to start with uh, my spider on the top, and I'm going to use some dimensionals. And I just put three of them on there. I spaced it out like a triangle. And I'll do all three on here. Also, get them all ready. And the cat. And I am hoping that everybody is seeing this because I see no comments tonight and it looks like my computer is still spinning and saying that the live video is starting so I don't know I hope it's going okay or I'm gonna have to repeat this tomorrow night all right so we'll take off the backing here all righty and then we're going to I'm going to place the cat right on the bottom right here. I know where they line up. So I'm putting it in between the green and the the two greens and towards the bottom there. And now I'm going to put the spider on the top. And He'll go here, right in the center there, and now I can center my witch. And we'll be all set with the, we'll put a little, some stars on the front and we'll be all set. There we go. So now, on the spider, I'm going to use our black matte dots. And I'm going to take my take a pick tool here and put one of these little, the smaller matte black dot, and I'm going to put it right in the middle of the spider to make his body a little thicker. And then we're going to use the stars, the Halloween stars. <clears throat> and I went with the gold ones. Let's use the big ones this time. And... I'm going to plop one right up there and put another one right over here. Come on. I can't seem to get it. Technical difficulties tonight. There we go. We are all set with the front. Front of the card is all ready to go. So now we just need to do the inside of the card. I'm going to use this as a little base. So I am going to use Old Olive because that's the color in the paper. All right, I'm going to put my stays on off to the side here. And I'm going to use from the stamp set, I'm going to use Happy Halloween to you. See how we get that in there, if I can get that nice and straight. There we go. And a spider. We have a spider coming down. And there we go. You got a little bit. Oh, that's just a little hair there. So there we go. We've got that in there. And we can put that on the inside. And the card is all set to go Let's put here and we'll do the envelope and we're done look how quick and easy that was this is a real simple layout make it very fast for classes or if you need a quick card for somebody I'm going to be doing some that are in a fall themed for it you could do Christmas theme you could do baby birthday anything you want this layout would be perfect and now I'm going to put a little spider on the back of our envelope Hopefully I have them dark enough. Looks good. He's a little off center, but that's okay. And there's my spider. So there's my cute, quick little Halloween card for tonight. 
Um, I'm going to check my video, make sure everything looks good. But I thank you for watching, and I will check back with you guys all next week. Have a good night.